In this video, I'm going to teach you how to write your own custom authentication method. So I'm going to teach you how to authenticate users using their email and their password instead of using a username and password. So what I have here is a very basic login view. And right now it uses username and password to authenticate users. So what I'm going to do is I will just show you like a demo of what it looks like. So this is a username. I'll just enter the username. Now enter the password. Now once I enter those details, I should be logged in to the browser. So right now we're using the username and password in order to log in. So what we're just going to do is we're going to make use of our own custom function or our own custom method in order to perform the authentication. The first thing that I need to do is I need to make sure that this field is changed to email. I'll just change all of this to email to prompt the user to enter an actual email, as you can see. So I will just head back to my code. Now, what I want you to notice is that I had created a file called utils.py, and this is where we are going to be writing our custom method. So what I'm going to do is I will import the actual user class which we need. I'm going to say from Django, just contrib dot auth sorry dot models we're going to say import user now after importing the user class so what we're just going to do is we're going to create a new function i'm going to call this authenticate so i'm calling this authenticate because again we want to authenticate the user details we want to take in the username sorry we want to take in the email and the password and we want to check if a user with those details actually exists. So instead of using the default authenticate method which Django provides, we're just going to write our own. So this authenticate method is going to take two things. It's going to take in an email and the password. So after it has received these two parameters, the first thing that we need to check for is if a user with this email actually exists in the database. So I'm going to write a try and accept block. But well, you are going to see why we're writing try and accept blocks very soon. But the first thing that we want to do is we want to see if a user with this specific email exists in a database. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say user is equals to user dot objects dot get, and in here I'll say email is equals to email. So what we're doing here is we want to check if a user with this specific email exists. So if that user doesn't exist, we're going to get an error. It does not exist error. So this is where we catch the error in the accept block. We're going to write an accept block here. And then we're going to say accept user dot does not exist. So accepts will get this error that the user we're trying to find does not exist. And we're just going to return none. Because we want our method to either return none or to return the user object. So if you notice, when we're using the default authenticate method which Django gives us, the method either returns none or it returns a user object. And in the code I have, it's already checking if the user is not known, meaning that the user with those credentials actually exists. So for our own method, we're going to follow the same paradigm. If the user details does not exist, then we're going to return none, or else we're going to return that user object. Now, after checking if a user with that email exists, the next thing that we need to check is if this user, if, if this user's password is equal to the parameter that was passed in. So we want to check if the password matches um, correctly. That is, if the user entered the correct password. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write another, I'm, I'm going to write an if statement. So I'm going to say if user dot check password of password that is if the password which has been passed in into this function as a parameter if the password is actually the password of this user so that is why we're making use of the check password method so this is inbuilt it says it returns a boolean of whether the raw password was correct so basically whatever we pass into this uh, method is going to be compared to the user's password to see if it matches so what we're just going to say is if user dot check password of password, that is 
this is going to either return true or false. So if it is true, then we're going to just return the user object. We're going to say return user. But if it is false, that is if no user with, that is if the user password doesn't match, then we're just going to, we're just going to return none. We're just going to return none at this point. So I could either I could either add this into an else block like this. I could either add this into an else block or leave it as it was before. But we'll just leave it as it is currently with the else block. This is basically all we need to do in order to write our custom authenticate method. So what I would just do is I'll head back to my views.py file. And at the top, I'm just going to make an import. I will say from dot utils import authenticate. Now I can now make use of this authenticate method. But before I do, I need to make sure that I am receiving the email properly. So I'm going to change this to email is equals to request or post or get email in order to properly get email which is coming in from this input field. So what I'm just going to do next is that. Instead of using this authenticate class, I will just delete this. And then in here, what we need to remove is we need to remove requests because we don't need that. So we just need to also remove username and say email is equals to email. So we're going to pass in the email that was entered and then we're going to pass in the password which was entered. So I'm just going to save that right now. And then I will head back to my web browser and refresh. But before I refresh, I just wanted to call your attention to something that, again, our method is going to return none if the user deals were not authenticated properly. So that is why there is an if statement here that says if user is not none. That is, if a user would actually return here, then we want to log in that user and redirect the person to it. So I will head back to my web browser right now, and I will enter the email of that user. So let's just say I okay, let's just say I enter a wrong password. Once I click login right now, you are going to see that it will give me an error saying invalid login credential. But the moment I enter the proper details, I enter the password right now and click login, you will see that our details are going to be authenticated properly and we are redirected to the home page. So that is like a very simple and a very basic way of making use of writing your own custom uh, authenticate method if you want to authenticate users with their email and their password. So that is all we're going to talk about today, guys. If you have any question, you can leave it in the comment section. And I'm going to reply you. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.